Welcome back. Talon Esports vs Excitation. This is very important match for both teams. Winner in this series will be qualified to Bali Major. Talon and Execration only met 4 times, and Talon able to win against Execration 3 times of 4 matches. Talon, Execration and Blacklist currently have same points. Only top 3 team will be qualified to the Bali Major, and Bleed already securing it. Well, for Morton. So that might be enough to catch him off guard. We'll see, I mean, for now it's just constant, you know, aggression in this top lane. Maybe aggression execution have miscalculated as they fail to, you know, really have enough damage to get through 23 here. Uh, Bobby's actually struggling. Yeah. Boy, Boy has 13 for yeah. CS right now. Kind of is. I guess it's the, it's the denies here, which will make up a bit of the difference. Perhaps it's just still enough damage, even with the shield crash damage uh, mitigation. Top lane 23, though, wish T had a much more powerful shield, because, well, honestly, Winter, the setup is pretty darn easy, isn't it? Uh, it does, you know, keep allow him, I should say, to keep the pressure up in this top lane. Yep, all he has to just try to pull the lane back. Ooh, good effort by Q, even through the blood grenade, looking for the cheeky kill onto Palos. Jabs still going at it here, no vacuum for 30 seconds. It's a level 2 ion shell as well as the Glimpse will bring back Jabs into a world of pain. Palos with enough strength here to get through it, still sitting on 9 stick charges as well. He'll be A-OK. -okay. I think next question they need to try to figure out how they can get an ops down here and maybe try to steal it. Get some information so when Talon decides to do the stack, they actually come in contest with a pango. Yeah, well, they do know where 23 is already. Does not have the point in Stone Gaze Winter. He's already committed all seven of his points. Still pretty tanky though, and now reinforcements TPing on in. There's gonna be the Rift Gate as well on down. So, oh, Makoto, he's in though. Activates the DD with the damage overwhelming onto Tino. He will go down. The Rolling Thunder, pretty good, darn good though. That will condemn 23 Savage as Shanks being targeted now by Q and Makoto. Makoto a bit limited by those spells though. This is going to be the Shadow Poison from Shanks, which stack up and finish off Q. Jabs has rotated on over, but it's Makoto who catches another nice Aether Remnant. Shanks trying to escape here, but there's Astral Steps ready. I don't think he's really making it out. Well, there's no Astral Step. Well, there is in a second. Makoto, yep, he finds him, cuts him down. Good vision there. They are going to be taking this gate down bottom. Ollie's the first one over, does see Tino. Tino coming through the gate. Makoto did not cancel his, so he'll be now making the long trip across the map. Aether Remnant caught a creep as Tino drops down the gate. The gate, uh, I think, was top, and you can see now support's coming in. The Global Silence is going to make this a bit more difficult, especially as Tino is going to go down. Palos was on full edge. He's still managing to fight through this fairly effectively. That's Jab now down. Did drop the Wall of Replica, but it's not really doing enough as Makoto is going to manage to TP away. They didn't have the glimpse ready to cancel. The TP anyway. Your right clicks to clear the camp sometimes uh, instead of just constantly using Swashbuckle. Yeah. Then you'll be able to have enough mana even if you don't have uh, arcane boots. Alright, there's our third action rune as well, as they will actually try and contest with the, where the bottom rune spawned in. 23 eager to defend his techies with the Stone Gaze active as Bob, considering the Rolling Thunder. Early on, they will lose Q, but it's Shanks with the uh, Demonic Purge who will claim the life of Q in return. Okay, so he wants to be able to combo with the Techies Blast off in the think, vacuum. I think that's good, because for now, 23, I'd say until at least he has Butterfly, Scotty is I mean, not as big of a threat as perhaps he thinks he is. He's going to get disrupted now, can't really retreat either. Pops his own now, uh, Manta style, as the Stone Gaze trying to force him back. They dropped Wall Winter, but they've only caught the Shadow Demon in this. As Makoto running on over here, I believe he's surged up, does manage to find Shanks with the heal coming out from Tino's mechanism. Now, joining the fight from the side is Paolo, finds 23 Savage immediately, as that's a pretty good blast off from Q, does keep Tino out of this fight temporarily. The silence is well incredibly annoying, prevents 23 from going down, as he will go off as the bombs one by one nuke him down. Alan, they just barely hold on to this tower. Your static storm combo slowly pick them off of the map. Could be Bob getting jumped here as Makoto. Ooh, we'll whip him out. Global's gonna come through here, setting up for the blast off. That is gonna be the Pavis getting blown through rather quickly as Q also plants the mine. That will end Bob's life. Oh, they're trying to just walk into Rush. I don't think I don't think so. I don't think they'll get away with that. It's Butterfly delivered as well. Tino, he might not be ready for this, especially without this Morph Axe. Not quite ready. Morph as well. He's going to TP into Mines as well. Into plenty of damage on that Aether Remnant. For now, he's holding on to it. Carlo being focused down. He's already dropped uh, the Static Storm as he will be killed off now by the blast off of Q. Uh, Paulos, he was thinking about joining that fight, but thought better of it. And he's going to end up staying top lane. His team, Radiance as a result, Winter, will lose that fight. Maybe they feel like 
the rush was already going on, that so was. they had to run in. Uh, he's in trouble. They can morph into him, and they have. But 23 is going to turn him to stone. The entire team's here to party. Oh, but so is Talon. They're TP'd in. But early TP, oh, but not fast dead. enough on the outpost. Deuce is dead. The global's far too late to change anything about this fight. It may allow... Oh, no, Makoto didn't make it up to the cliff either on that Astral Step. We'll see if they actually sniff him out for now. The Execration running into mines and quite happy to do that as Shanks whips himself to get into position faster. Oh no, Carlo, please don't die to mines. He's okay. He's just, he's on mine sweeping duty. Makoto picks up now the arcane rune, still being chased down by Bob. Hits him with the inhibit. He's in a bit of trouble here now, Makoto. Disarmed, but managing to find the Aether Remnant, the root. Makoto making it out still pretty easily. The problem is he casted all of his spells before the arcane could affect his cooldowns, but he's got them now ready to go a second time. Talon as well, looking like they're ready to counter-initiate as Execration have chased uh, pretty far, Winter, but Tino's quite tanky. How tanky can he really be here? Saved by the disruption. He still has all of his spells when he comes back, but they've only set him up now for the blast off mines, explosions, and death is what Tino knows now, as they will be punished for chasing after Makoto just far too long, honestly. Even if oh. you, you go bow, you're not going to be able to save him. We're going to get uh, a bit of a scrap here. Bob says hello to Jabs. Jabs immediately fighting into this one, but the rest of the team now coming through. Bob in a bit of trouble. Aether Remnant will catch him. They need a bit more damage. The Global Silence was purged off by the BKB. Not going to matter. Makoto has got the damage for the kill. Bob just far too aggressive there. I think he needs well, they to, have to They have the high play. ground. If they do, they're going to be able to get the D wards. Oh, that's the big play they needed. A four-man vacuum, but the damage not immediately there. Q with the blast off in. They're going to be able to take down Carlo. The vision as well as Talon still continue to hold the high ground. There's going to be the stone gaze. Bob immediately turned to stone. Not bad, though. He's right on top of this Deuce off. Finds at least two stuns. A 23 out of mana. Bumps into the low ground. Oh, he's still alive, but no. Killed off oh, immediately after. Talos now. He's the one to hold the high ground. A three versus four fight. But Talon, they don't have much left in the tank to fight with. And Shanks with his new blink dagger jumping forward finds ollie trying to hide using the low priority trick but shanks is going to have plenty of aoe damage for him there i mean it, it wasn't bad i they just really weren't able to follow up and defend the do so oh okay makoto is in does force bob to pop the bkb makoto safe and sound for now however shanks blinking forward look at the mobility on this team no step they're chasing after a voice spirit this easily but they missed a couple of crucial spells bob he's just gonna go down q baited him into the minefield didn't respect it another global silence here but tino still on through Finds Finds a stun onto Q, rather the root. Q, who's finding a couple of disarms, is making a bit of space. He's eventually going to die. Roshan, throughout all this, has kind of just been poked and harassed a handful of times. But, but Talon, they, they just keep committing ultimates, not quite stringing them together, Winter. I, can they still contest this? Still be able to do something no, here. Roshan. Certainly, certainly not, right? Oh, back you. They're trying. That's a pretty darn good wall of replicas. Well, Makoto's in trying to burst through Carlo, but he's going to cover himself now with the Static Storm. TPing on through to the outpost of 23 Savages. Carlo's going to go down. Roche still on 3,000 HP. We've been fighting here for what felt like four minutes now, Winter. Ever since he spawned in, he might not die in this top part of the map, but it seems like Execration are determined to see Roshan go down here. Apollos has managed to find that Ags Morph onto the Medusa, so a lot of damage stolen out from the Medusa as Rolling Thunder who might be getting ready here for Bob. No Blink Dagger yet for him, but Makoto, oh, he's ready to go on in. He's jumped the gun. He's jumped a bit early on. Now he's not going to be able to get in to steal the Ages. Oh, 23 tried as well, but glimpsed on back out. That was the Minefield sign active as well going off. They popped everything too early here, Winter. This time, Talon, they couldn't be patient enough. They've jumped. And now, it's the Execration jumping onto them. We'll see if they've gone too far yet again. For now, the kill on to Q. It's simple. 23 once again out of mana. It's going to be a couple of right clicks for him before he goes down. He does get up a, a high five at least before he goes. It's actually Bob and Tino on high five fiving over his corpse. It's only going to be a bit longer, especially as Palos and Tino start just wrecking your base here. There's that minefield sign. They're going to look for like a vacuum play here? Oh, they already used the mine Yeah, time. they're a oh, little no. early. I mean, that placement might have been just about as close as Q could get. But, That's like uh, Rex for free. There's nothing they can do. It pretty much is, especially with 23 down. It, it's only the top lane of Barracks here, Winter. Yeah, and 20 seconds left until there's another morph here as well. I don't think they really want Oh, they will jump them there, just creating a bunch more illusions. Plenty of damage onto Palos, but they have managed to find 23 yet again, so there's going to be more illusions coming through here, helping and aiding Execration to the push, nearly killing off Ali as Palos looking for the support. There's going to be Stone Gaze out. Jabs is going to go down, and Palos, he doesn't mind dying. I mean, he, he still has Aegis for another minute. If you can even kill him, finally caught, he will go down.
What more do they have, though, as Makoto is going to be caught now by the Static Storm. Global Science will cover him, but it's not going to protect him from against Palos. The Mad Style actually sees him outside of the Kinetic Field, but Palos is just going to be way too tanky to take down. They think they can maybe jump Shanks, but a 23 disarmed now. In trouble being ran down by Palos. Makoto not sure if he can really change anything about this, but they will at least get through Q. What can be done, though? That's going to be a nice Aether Revenant onto Palos. The disarm is constantly at the 23. Out of mana here, he will die next to his Fountain. I mean, that's GG. And that's that's gotta be it, honestly. And X Creation just putting up a, a show in a very, very back and forth game, you know, like... Hold on, Makoto. What are you doing here, Makoto? Trying to sneak around the back of the fight here. That's a risky play. Deuce of Death for 30 seconds. And maybe the only play as Jabs finds a vacuum onto two, but they've kind of split the damage there. And it's not going to be enough to scare them off. Holly, killed off by Q, has buyback here. No global for another 45 seconds, however. Rolling Thunder being channeled up. I think Makoto may be the target here, but he's got the Semele. He's a bit of a hard catch, especially as he is going to juke them out. They do see him. Pardon me, Winter. Thanks to the uh, Thunder Strikes that do linger, they don't have enough for the damage. Q sets up the minefield. That's a pretty darn good minefield. And the wall doesn't make this the easiest of pushes. Pelos doesn't really need to move here, though, to claim Megas. And with Deuce down for three seconds, yeah, he, they are barely going to be stopped from taking down the melee barracks. They do manage to stop Bob from taking it through the ripped gate, but he's just so tanky here. He's got BKB. Still ready to go, will not take the gate. Item for 23, it's going to be the Ag Scepter. Oh, and he's just going to be a bit of gold short here. We'll see if Bob wants to make the jump in. Minefield sign has now expired. Pretty long cooldown on that thing as Palos ready to go on in. They get the D-Ward. Jabs is going to be able to punch him. Oh, the Minefield sign yet again, but they just cannot connect on the spells. Palos, though, no, he's going in aggressively. Immediately on a 23 Savage. Stone Gaze at least is going to be able to catch Bob, but he's going to stun up Q, and now 23 a second time as he's stunned up in trouble. They manage to as well find the disruption of him, so the Illusion's coming through. A disarm, 23. He just can't do anything this entire fight. Jabs managing to catch Palos at the very least with 23. Disarmed yet again and just dying underneath his tier 4 towers. He will go down, unable to complete the Ag Scepter. Makoto only able to get through Carlo, but immediately kill off. It's 23. He's done cooking. This one's all over. Execration, take game one. I I have to say, I do like Execration's draft more. I'm I'm not a believer in this Wind Ranger. I love Mikado. I think he's a great player, but the hero is just not winning. Catapult wave, well, it's a Strata screen. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe Jabs ended up pulling in there, but now Palos in some trouble. They're going to try and focus down onto him. The rotation sees Ali now into this lane, who will collect the kill there using the Frost Blast. Arcane. Takes full advantage of it. Should, yeah, be picked up by Carlo. Bob does not have yet level 6, and Makoto's going to start dishing some damage into him. They've got now the War Stomp, but they've missed it. Makoto still alive. Power Shot. He's going to get the kill thanks to the Infused Raindrop as Jabs drops the tip onto his Universal mid laner. So I, I guess the rush isn't completely accurate. Oh, if you can Savage. Yeah, he's just starting to tank up these Axe stacks. I think he's going to be clear now because we're going to stacking up to 6. Blast Off does not connect on to Carlo, I believe. But now Carlo being chased down is going to struggle, especially as the Sticky Bomb is going to find its mark. Careful now as well. Level 6 now for Jabs. Ooh, no Whirling Death quite yet, but they're going to have plenty of damage just with the right clicks there, Winter. There's a ward here quickly de-warded. They didn't see Bob either under the cover of this smoke. Sees them though. Techie's mind going off, but it should be Ollie going down. He's tanky though. Infused raindrops and the frost shield buying him a lot of time. As 23 makes the jump on and still has the shadow dance. Uh, Chain Frost not really getting the best bounces here, but in trouble is Palos completely out of mana. Has a 10 stick charge. Didn't did not get off the oh did sorry he got off the refraction charge, but uh, 23 just blows off through them much too quickly. Dead now is Palos for 30 seconds as Jabs connecting onto this fight. As is Makoto connects the kill. Meanwhile, his team's gonna smoke up the top. Uh, Stark's gonna connect through the Twin Gate. Yeah, he's gonna try. They're looking for the easy kill on the Shanks. Should be, yeah, indeed, a very easy, especially with, wow, lots of heroes making the jump in there. I did hear a primal roar, though. That's just gonna be just south for an easy kill there. On to Ollie. Even with Dragonlance, that's why I feel like uh, he's he's still quite vulnerable in the team fights. Slot jumping in. Yeah, that he is. Also, Techie's making the jump in. Q able to pick off the kill. The chain stun's good enough here. Even against this Hell of the Overlord, they're just really not that scared. Winter. I mean, with a DD on Makoto, he's got a lot of 
Damn, I mean, the, the thing is, up. like, all these aura items for Palace is not joining and he's going to get roar, caught. The stolen chakram, is that going to be enough damage? The mark, no, Makoto still alive. In fact, a two-man shackle through the chain frost as well. That's plenty of damage here. A nice stun at least does see Makoto in for a hard time as he's going to be finished off. One swift punch from the ancient granite golem sees him kill, but in exchange for three. They do also lose Palos here, Winter. I believe he died down bottom, didn't he? Yeah, whereas Chen, you really need the creep. You know, if you don't get a creep, you don't do as much in the lane. Got it. Leash now. There's a creep coming in through. Helber Smasher finds the tomato clap, but they've also... <laughs> wow. Just immediately on the Palos. He's dead in a shackle shot up from Makoto. Oh, man. Even with the haste room, Bob is going nowhere. Oh, that's going to be punishing. We'll see here. The smoke does break. They didn't quite catch Shanks here on that initial jump in. And that Meltrek as well is going to do quite a number. But for now, so far so good as they're onto the jabs. Timbersaw trying to focus down onto him and Winter. So far so good. But how is the rest of the fight going to go around, especially with the Chain Frost bouncing around? There's uh, onto Q now as 23 jumps back into the fight. Oh my god, that Chain Frost nukes him down into 23 with the kill credit now. I mean, they There's should definitely the, wait for nighttime. The Hawk Vision. 30 seconds till Roche is at nighttime. Don't forget Winter. He's going to go top lane as well, which makes this fight awkward, especially if they're on to Bob first. Frost to start shield? the fight, there's going to be the, the second leap, but not in time. Frost Shield doing a lot of work here for 23. He also pops the Shadow Dance. Careful. He's holding on to Gem here. Hurricane back by your favorite ability in the game. And now the Roar. Palos turning to fight and finds the kill. But now Palos is going to be the one in some trouble. Chain Frost as well. Bouncing around. Finding some big bounces here. Palos killed off by Jabs. Ollie's still alive. Bob worse for wear as now Jabs going to try and get the new him. Roche running through the fight is getting out of here it's too much noise in the neighborhood but for now Bob's still alive finally goes down to the techies mines not before at least he gets the kill on to Ali Makoto chasing for more here the wow. enchanted purging the wind run instantly but Jabs is going to be free to go find the kill that's three down here as Carlos going to end up dying and Shanks he is well if Jabs hit the, the spell uh, he's still going to go down just as quickly my biggest question is where did that gem end up and it ended up being recovered by Q uh, Radiant uh, Wisdom Rune Oh, nice. So taking some of the XP and he away. And he's Palos. Palos without wow, a BKB, so we'll who has refraction, but the stun is not going to allow him to use it. Holy shit. Look at that ward. So much damage. Look at that attack. ward that Ollie put down. Easy kill for him there. 23 looking for another one. As he does have pounce in two more seconds. Will he go uphill? You bet your bottom dollar he will be. But careful now. Maybe in for a bit of trouble as behind. He has kind of kited out Makoto to his death. That's only ages. 23 still in the base, Winter. Still unable to get the kill with the last pounce. He has at 34 stacks of essence. He's going to fight in the base now. Still managing to actually outfight versus two, but certainly not versus four. Oh, and he gem. will go down. That's the gem oh, fed. The tips as well up from Mexico. And Talon kind of channeling their inner SMG on that play. And it gives you a lot more vision because that area is just way bigger. But this ward may end up paying off. Maybe they can look for jabs. That's a scythe of vice already for Tino. They're trying to blow him off. Oh, Apollo is in versus five. No buyback. That looked easy. No buyback. Roche still going down. Not that quickly. There's a bash on the 23 as the fight does oh, start Bob. to kick off. Bob's in a bit deep here. Hasn't really found much. They also do manage to tank through the eighth. The remnant Roche outside of the pit will be heading seconds, through the portal in 15 time. seconds. As there's going to be the harpoon not doing too much now against Apollo. He's hexed up now on the side of 23. But they reflect the roar in time. It might not matter. Those shanks with the damage. Oh, 23 gets off the dark pack just in time as he will be able to live. Bob, in the meantime, jumping away under the cover of the BKB. In the back lines, though, it's Makoto who's going to manage to find the kill on to Paulos Roche. Bailing out of this fight, but for now, it's all systems go for Talon as they pick up now the kill on to Tino. And it seems like the one on to Shanks is only but a guarantee as it's a three for nothing fight. 23 lives by the skin of his teeth there, Winter. Fair enough. It gives you more damage, right, as well. Careful though, Shanks already getting gone on as Tino looking to turn as BKB waiting for the roar. Can't be jabs though. They do reflect that hex on back. A lot of damage coming in now from the impetus, but they've already taken down those uh, top lane of barracks. Yule's Scepter is only going to set up Jabs for a bit more trouble. 23 has popped the Refresher. They're in now, looking to try and burst through Palos, and it's pretty darn easy, Winter. He's already killed off. They're not going to quite be able to get Carlo as quick as the Roar is going to manage to find at least the Slark, but he is very tanky. Still has the Frost Shield fighting into this one as Palos TP's back into the fight, Force Staps himself away. Doesn't like the way this one's going. Bob now back in for round two as the Impetus shot's raining in. Makoto left on the high grimmer with Aegis. Don't think they can quite finish him off this Despite the best efforts from Shanks, they only need a couple more arrows, but a two-man shackle shot sets Q up for a three-man stun now. The blast off pretty darn good. Shanks being pulled off the high ground now as they have gotten through Bob. He's got buyback now. 
We'll see if Town will force it out from this as they do continue to push up towards the high ground. Palos has just bought back a kill here onto him. Would certainly be a game ender and would send us to a game number three. But for now, Talon will hesitantly back away. Is he maybe going to even go for the famous 252 damage talents now? I got a moon shark. No, of course not. He's going to go for the activation turn, uh, talent. Uh, Shank saved now by the telekinesis. As that's a stolen shot from not doing nearly enough. Jabs is in as is Makoto under the cover of the BKB. Carlo now, his own force staff will save him. Tino as well. Safe and sound. But uh, not the same for Carlo. Taken down, has buyback, but now the mid lane of Barracks shall go down, and we're up to 42 stacks of Agi for 23. I just don't see a way back into it for them. There's the uh, Megas, so they'll have to do it against the Megas. He is really going to do the Tormentor. Okay, so he's got it now. Beastmaster has Shard that may help him, but it's not going to help him in his current disposition as he is dead, has buyback at the very least, Jabs. Not even taking that much damage, to be honest, as they do struggle to dispel him. He's the beast as well, but Talon's setting to work on the tier four towers here, Winter. Mines as well, exploding nearly instantaneously with the 25 talents. As there's going to be the money for the Swift Link. They need to get it now. A buyback into a roar, into the Swift Link, into a kill. It's got to be here and now. And Jabs, well, he's frankly quite a hard target in Bob. Well, Bob. Surely, isn't he? He's blown up, sent back to the fountain. He's bought back. What else can they really do here? As 23 has Shadow Dance in at least 10 more seconds. BKB will cover the retreat, but they're going to try and get through him now. Oh no, but they've disarmed Shanks. The reactive taser, not good enough. They will find the kill on the 23. He's holding on to the buyback for now. As Execration at least managed to give the boot to Talon off the higher of Makoto. He found another two core leash. Oh no, and Paolo's just waiting to give up the high ground. Leashed into Hex, another Hex with 23 rejoining the fight. Oh, he's back into it immediately, but it's not going to matter. They've left the Ancient undefended, and it's Talon who will be able to force game number three. Safe lane Magnus, most likely? No. What? 23 Savage just clicked on Void Spirit. It's a lot of damage as well. I mean, it's, uh, this lane's oh, advantage for them. Top, top lane. lane, though. Oh, Jebs does find first blood. A lot of move speed here for Palos. I wonder how much further he's going to chase. He's got a blood grenade now, Winter. No skewer for some time, as Jabs is going to turn and fight with his dying breath. Q will do the same. Is under a lot of pressure from the storm right now. There it goes. Uh, oh, this time they're going to try and connect. Searing Chains only catches the storm. And Q looking for another kill here. Ooh, once again, not finding the bash. No uphill miss either for Bob. Creep kind of blocking Q oh, here, but Q will die. persist and doesn't even need the bash there to collect on the game. No, man. Poor supports of excretion. That is huge. And mid lane, Bob is going to get charged again. Yeah, that charge is going to see Q run through a couple of towers, but there's no level six yet for Bob. Makoto as well has already. Uh, and there's the illusion of being put to good work. A charge from behind will secure the kill. Bottom, Bob this time at least able to get a bit aggressive as the regen picked up by Q. Charge now going the way towards this Ember Spirit. A couple of stuns there on Q, but they will be looking now to kill him off. They have another Searing Chains in one more second. Plenty of remnants here to play with as well. Oh, but that's a really good last word. Makoto making the jump in. The Damage is sufficient. Makoto gets the kill, but it's Ollie with a plus two as Makoto's up to the high ground now. They might need to deny him and they won't be able to. Carlo gets the kill, but Q goes right back on in. Barely any HP here for Shanks as Q still fighting through now. Wants a bash onto Carlo, will not be able to find it. Ollie now is going to be able to at least be the biggest winner of all here, Winter. He'll come oh. out six inch smarter. I mean, it's, it's weird. I, I don't really know how a Void Spirit carry meant to be played, but you're going to make the jump in global as well, preventing any sort of counter initiation. But where's the damage here? Even with that DD rune, they just barely get through Tino, but they'll make it out fairly easily. 23 trying to TP out. Ah, right. Stuns. No stun, Dota. Forgot to, forgot to pick some of those. Makoto <laughs> with the tip onto 23 as Ali running for his life. on the charge from behind as Q. Oh, they've already used just about everything that Bob has. He's going to go down as well here. Winter taken down. At least he finally gets off. Ali, Palos as well starting to do a bit more damage until the DD rune from Makoto allows him to fight through this one fairly easily and avoiding a lot of that damage as Q follows up with a kill onto Palos and Talon. I mean, again, just TP no, in a way. Dota. Come on. Hard for a long time. But, but what's wrong with his play style, right? Oh my god, Paul. I mean, Winter, they, they, there is nowhere that is safe. Not, nothing wrong with his play style when he can't even play the game. But all that really means for him is he's able to join these fights incredibly easily, get on top of his targets and take him down. Here they go. Oh no, that's Carlo. He's going to get blown up. There he goes. 
Bob's already committed the Searing Chains. They're going to try and actually get through onto Makoto. Where's the follow-up damage? They need a little bit more. Winter Makoto? No way. He's out of there. I'm barely at HP. And the worst part, they can see him. Palos, at the very least, will be able to find a realm. Drops 23. And Talon, this time you've gone too far. Execration here to punish. Find two kills as well through the ultimate. I think he's going to live. They need to get that stomp out, Winter. They really needed that, man. I mean, that's that's a third of your entire team's lockdown right now. Q does not give a darn. Oh, Rupture 23. He might be caught here. Oh, the illusion room. No way. The roar is going to be on the money, though, Jabs. We will even find oh, the RP on three. He used the harpoon on the way and look at his attack speed, but the damage. Shanks will put him down. Q, he's too late on the charge. It's AD run from Bob. Trying to get out of this one. Avoiding the damage. Q needs another last hit. Won't have it, Bob. He will go down, though, to the last word, but he can have the last what? laugh oh, no. as oh. Execration. They take down four. Lose total control oh, of the they're, they're gonna this time winter. They're gonna try and take the fight without the spirit breaking. He'll charge back into the fight. They've got global now. Tino in a lot of trouble committing the RP. Really trying to stack the stuns just a bit, but they're gonna skew him underneath the tower. And there's just no save for him. The silences. He just can't get a damn spell off. Winter. He's gonna be killed off. Execration. Maybe now they've overcommitted, but there's gonna be an orchid on Makoto. Bob making the jump onto him. They're really looking for the kill. It's 23. No stuns to cancel his CP out. They've committed the rupture. Makoto on 100 HP. They have vision on him thanks to the thirst. Oh. Oh, they're reaching and they've got the kill now. Bob connects on the Syrian chase, but Palos, he needs to get a kill here. It needs to be a big one. And using the Mantis Island, he will live a bit longer. Jab's gonna be the second one to go down. Execration taking another miracle fight underneath oh the tier two gosh. towers. Execration is doing it, man. They're bringing it back. It's an early fortify, I have to say, from Execration. So I think Talon. Ooh, oh, how cool. They've gone fishing. They've caught one. A good charge up through Palos. He might even get these on his first life here. Q taking a ton of damage. And they've also ruptured, I believe, 23. There's the Aurora committed. And a kill there. But now in trouble is Jabs. He is dead. And without buyback here, Winter. 23 in some trouble. It has the Mantis style to at least dispel the Searing Chains. But the tower is down. Winter, I can't believe this. Execration from where they were. I mean, neither can I. 10 minutes ago <laughs> are securing not just like a tower but Radiant's full top barracks top. on the high ground i mean if you you were able to catch oh wait hold that thought uh, uh, okay he's got yeah manta dispel the silence what and he going goes on? now ember back in seven doesn't have a remnant for 23 he's in deep i think they broke uh rupture on him so he's not going to be ruptured up the roar is well committed 23 is I mean, dead he's just dead he just went in and everyone else from talent, they don't know what the hell to do anymore. Ollie doesn't even have global anymore. I don't really know if he's worth that much of a kill because there's still an RP if they look to want to turn. Oh, 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 BKB pops though. It's still a 4v4 fight. Even after the buyback from 23 Savage, they're not going to be able to pull back. To, uh, 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 wow, they're not going to be pulling back in. And uh, maybe Talon can't afford to defend or to, to delay this any longer at the rate this is going at. I could see Execration. Oh my god, Makoto. He's got BKB but roared up. No way. Oh, and the RP was but made all along. Makoto turning to fight the skewer out of the hacker. They've got three, but they need more damage. 23. He's just not cutting it. But Paulos, at least, he's been stunned by the Nether Strike and Jab is left behind. Has got buyback. It's going to have to use it immediately. Look at that barrage of impetus. And there's now Execration triggering the buyback of the Magnus. Will back away. There just was not enough damage. And now, this reeks of, of desperation, but maybe, maybe a bit of hope as well. No, it doesn't look like it, because Palos, he's freed up thanks to the Mantis Island, immediately back onto the tower. 23 has no spells here. Astral Step in a second, feeling like he's forced to go back on in. There's going to be the Dissemble. Palos a bit worse for work, but still is an Aegis for two more minutes. In deep now, being caught by Jabs. It's going to be Shanks. Down he will go, but they're already onto the last barracks here, Winter, and they're falling fast. They don't have a Crimson. That's a buyback out from Execration. They want to end this now. Q giving Chase onto Palos looking for the kill, but there's a damn abyssal blade. Doesn't last a single second as Q's got the bulldoze active at the least and is managing to at least kite enemies out quite a bit. A nice charge, delaying this a bit more, but doing just that, just a bit of delaying as Palos. He's simply too fast with the thirst movement speed, and that's already the Mega's winter. 38 minutes in, they want to go to their third major. And Talon may have just been denied. We'll have to see how tiebreakers go for them. But here is perhaps the SMG now out from Execration. That's a big kill on the Tino. Couldn't even see how much gold he gave, but did buy back immediately. Careful here. Oh, the silence on the Mikoto. He's BKB. got BKB. He's holding on to it. He's stunned up. There's an abyssal. Gets the zip zap away. He's safe and sound for now. Palos falling a bit slow, but able to still outfight this. Mega is now already on their way into the base, but it's Palos who still has Aegis, who's still alive, will finally go down 
Ricardo Makoto, Talon, this is it. Backs against the wall, 23, roared up, doesn't have any spells, no mobility, he's killed no up. Buyback. And that's the dieback, Winter. That has to be it, execration. The emotions for them now to turn around this game. Talon feeling crushed. That's Execration, focus onto the throne, the RP, that's gonna be a buyback for Tino at least, but there's no Fortify Winter, and the throne falling fast, Execration, GG. they've done it! They're gonna go to the Major, they started off the season in a rough spot,